Hello, so we are back Monday and we have an interesting job here. This is a soldering job. But let's see what the customer is saying. So this is a second job from this customer and he's saying Huawei motherboard that needs your magic calibrated wires. Yes, you see customer knows USB-C pads broke. Okay, so what do we have here? It's a motherboard with USB-C issue. LED. Customer sent the LED here. Okay, so the LED has to be soldered also. Customer sent me the charging ports and the motherboard and the battery. You see, this is a proper customer. You send me the port I have to replace. You send me the motherboard. You send me the battery so I can test it. Everything. So all what we are putting here, it's our proper calibrated wires, like uh, normal wires, solder wire. And of course, just a little bit of skill. So let's have a look how bad it is. I mean, pretty bad, but yeah, I think we can do it. I mean, it is bad, but it's, it's you know, yeah, 10 minutes. Can we make it like a 10 minute job? Probably we can, 10, 15 minutes, I would say. Let's first be sure we are cleaning the, the pads, yeah, so we can solder the, the wires. All good. Yeah, looks perfect, right? Wait, wait. We do have, check here, we have this track. Uh, this one. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, let's use the solder iron and uh, lower the temperature to 180 degrees, which is perfect temperature for uh, soldering this port. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, rosin flux. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Now solder wire. Perfect. Good. LED. Good. Good. All perfect, right? Yeah. Let's get that solder out. Uh, we don't want solder here. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, looking good. Yeah, it is looking good. Now let's solder. Uh, let's solder the port into place. So actually the customer send us two charging ports, but usually uh, the customer it will say, sorry, and fit one and keep one for you. Mm -hmm. 
usually, but not this time. So probably he thought, you know, maybe you'll break a charging port. You'll broke a charging port. Or maybe you'll burn a charging port, so you should have another one. Yeah. Okay, the charging port is on place. Yeah, perfect. Coming with hot air with around uh, 300 degrees. Yeah, with 300 we are safe. 300 degrees. Come on. Just sit there, relax. With 300, you cannot melt the port, okay? So, uh, yeah, we are fine. Okay, so it's looking good. I think it's looking good. Now, the customer LED. Let's solder the LED back. The LED, good. Wait, but which position? How the LED has to be? Hmm? We don't know. Okay, if it's working like that, good. If not, we're gonna spin it around. Okay, perfect. Now let's see what we have here. Uh, I'm pretty impressed actually the port. You know that the, the pins didn't get solder. Yeah, poor quality charging port. I solder the pins. Perfect. I think here we need a little bit of hot air. That's what we need. Good. More flux. Let's come with hot air. Perfect. And here. Just a little bit of solder wire. We want all three pins soldered together. That's what we want. And here we want all three pins soldered together. So the idea is to make it better compared with how it was uh, before from the factory, yeah? That's the idea. Perfect, so three pins together. Here we need two pins together. That's what we need. Perfect. Perfect. And here I want two pins together, those ones. Perfect. Okay. So everything looks perfect. Now all what we need uh, is the wire. Let me grab a wire. Good. Let's use uh, flux crossing. Perfect. Uh, this is fine, right? Yeah, it is fine. So we need this one. Then we are coming nicely here. Perfect. And here we are cutting down the, the wire.
Perfect. The next one. You know what? I don't even need wire here. Huh? Maybe I need. Perfect. Perfect. And the next one, this one, perfect. A little bit more solder there. Perfect, right? Yeah. And just a little bit more solder here. And here. So this one. Perfect. And this one. Perfect. And that's all, right? We finished? Yeah, I think we finished. Let's clean it. So how is looking to you? Hmm? It is a perfect job or not? Hmm? That's the question. Let's test it to see if the LED is working. So plug in the charger. And the meter it is coming on. The LED is working. You can see the LED. Yeah, all good. It's working. 19 volts. So the PD controller uh, is negotiating the voltage. You can see. Good. One question is, the battery is charging? I mean, should charge, right? And if I remember on the Huawei, the power pin is here. Yeah, you remember we test one. Uh, the, the, the power button track, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the battery is on place. CPU, we need some heatsink here. Okay, plug in the charger. And there's no charging. It's taking like 20 milliamps, and that's all. 120, so this is the pre charge current. 120, and probably it will go up. It's any way we can help the battery in order to achieve the normal uh, uh, charging current. Yeah, let's come with the power supply. The battery has how many volts? 15.2, okay, that's fine. About 17. And we have, let's lower the current, yeah, like that. It's taking 70 milliamps, you can see, so ground plus, and we are pushing 1.2 amps into the battery. Check that, check on the current here, 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 1.5 amps. So now the battery is charging fine. But, yeah, the CPU is cold, so the motherboard didn't start. In order to test this board, we have to power up. So this motherboard, the Huawei one, it doesn't come on 
without pressing the power button. It's not like, like the other. When you reset the board, the board is coming on by itself. No. So somehow we have to press uh, the power button in order to check uh, this board via HDMI. Okay, let's try to start the board. I'm going to keep my finger on the CPU to feel when the board is coming on. And the board is coming on. Let's try to plug the HDMI. So plug in the HDMI. Let's see the picture. And we have picture. Huh? We have picture. So actually, it's working. Fantastic. All done. So now we know this board is fixed and it's working fine. All I want to do more is to clean it on this side. And that's all. Now, you know, usually, not usually, but many times I use like uh, UV gel on this one. But you see, you have a little bit of plastic there. And on a case like this, when you have like missing pins, just coming with the hot glue here, when you put a board into the laptop, can help because can hold against the plastic moving uh, back and forward. So a hot glue is better compared with like UV gel. So I'm going to stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. You know, just like, subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one, right? Just have a beautiful week. Bye.